Today's lesson we are going to look at chemistry 1502. The topic for today is Newman projection. This is lesson 101. The basics. Let us start. Newman projection is one of the ways to represent a structure of an organic molecule or a molecule. So far we know the line structure, we know the Lewis dot diagram, we know the condensed formula. We know the molecular formulas. So today's lesson we are going to look at new man projection. Let us start with our first, actually our second molecule from our common list, which is ethane. We know that the molecular formula of ethane is C2H6, meaning it has two carbons and six hydrogens. We know that the line structure is simply like this, where the ends of these lines, we have our carbon bonded with three hydrogen each. We know that the Lewis dot diagram is actually like this, where we have six hydrogens. Now a new molecule, I mean a new structural Suppose we have our carbon, let us use a perspective view. We are trying to represent this structural formula using a three-dimensional view. And then we actually view it from this angle. We are going to have something like this. This will be carbon number one, carbon number two. We are going to see this carbon, which is carbon number one. having three hydrogens and then just behind this carbon number one there is carbon number two it's actually behind this carbon number one with three hydrogen now looking at this diagram we call this a Newman projection conformation. Now we should know something. We have different ways to actually draw a, a Newman conformation. Another way to draw a Newman conformation of ethane we keep the first carbon the way it is then we actually rotate the second carbon such that the hydrogen atoms are just behind the hydrogen atoms of the first carbon. We have names to actually differentiate the two. This one we call it Stair guide confirmation. Then this one we call it at least. We can see that the hydrogen atoms are actually at least with the hydrogen atoms of the first carbon. This is the basic structure of Newman projection. Then what is important is to know that we have actually different types of Newman projections. Let us actually look at another organic molecule. An organic molecule that will actually give us a brief or explain this in detail. Let us discuss Newman projection of butane and then we are going to view 
the Newman projection of butane through carbon number two and three. This is very important because we know that butane consists uh, of four carbon atoms. So we need to view it from carbon number two and carbon number three. Now looking at the Lewis dot diagram of butane, we know that we have something like this. Where these lines they have hydrogen atoms. Before we can draw the Newman projection, let us actually try to write this in detail form using the condensed formula. So we have four carbons, and then we said we are going to view it from C2, C3, meaning that this is the first carbon, this is the fourth. Uh, carbon, but we're going to focus on C2 and C3. Now C1 and C4, we are going to write it like this. C1, we know that it has three hydrogen atoms, and then C2, it has two hydrogen atoms, and then we also have C4, which has three uh, hydrogen atoms and then C3 also has two hydrogen atoms. Now looking at it like this, remember we focus mainly on the two. We can say that carbon number two, it has bonded with a methyl group and also carbon number three has bonded with a methyl group. Now how can we draw a human projection of this? That's how we're going to do it. The first carbon, it has a methyl group, which is this one, and then bonded with two hydrogen atoms, which is this one, this one. Now just behind this carbon, we also have carbon number three, which is C3. It also bonded with a methyl group and two hydrogen atoms. Now this is one of the ways we can actually draw a human projection of butane. We can actually draw four different types of human projection. These four different types of diagrams, we also call them conformation. They have specific names. Two of them, they are under staggered conformation and then the remaining two, it's under eclipsed conformation. They all look different. Let us look at the second diagram of staggered confirmation. We we keep the first carbon the way it is, and then the second carbon we rotate it this direction sixty degrees. When we rotate it this direction 60 degrees, we are going to have something like this. Our methyl group will be here, and then we have our hydrogens here. And you can see the angle between the two. You can say it's 60 degrees, and then when we move it this direction, we actually have 300 degrees. This is another way to actually represent a Newman projection for butane. Let us go to the next one. We still have our carbon. Now this one, the methyl group, it's actually behind the methyl group of the first carbon. This is under at least. Now the last one, 
we are going to have something like this where one of the hydrogens actually this is supposed to be CH3 one of the hydrogens of the second carbon it has eclipsed with our methyl group of the first carbon actually there's a mistake let us put a methyl group here so let us look at specific names for these diagrams we are going to look at angles between the carbon those angles we call them dihedral angles looking at the first one we can see that the angle between the carbons from here to here it's actually 180 also in move this direction it's 180 now for the angle 180 the dihedral angle of 180 we call this an entire confirmation it's under staggered confirmation now the second one the angle is actually 60 degrees or when we move this direction we have 300 degrees this we call it a gouge confirmation it's under staggered confirmation looking at the eclipse we can see the angle between the two carbons it's actually zero degrees or we move when we move this direction we have 360 this is what we call a totally eclipsed these are the specific names for this Newman projection diagrams now the last one we look at this angle it's actually 120 degrees we move this direction we have 240 degrees this one we just call it an eclipse now all these four actually each of these diagrams or each of these confirmation they have uh, different types of properties in terms of energy in terms of stability but this lesson is basically based on different types of confirmation now remember this is the basics this is lesson 101 do watch lesson 102 for the continuation of this one that's it for this lesson video this is wahula is j thank you very much